return to the adventures of Pom the Second Bonson, the mighty ruler of honestly most of Bengal at this stage. We've only got a little bit more to pull apart, and then we are. Look at me. I am king now. We are, of course, we, we would never do that because we are the glorious, we are the glorious ideal model Buddhist here. We've got almost all of the, all of the virtues there. Trusting, zealous, honest, whatever else. And now they want us to build a fucking temple. Are you joking? Ah, uh, I suppose we've got the money for it. So this guy's goal, really, and, and to be honest, I am using this guy as a bit of a stopgap character, is to very much bring the realm back together, try and set up a good air. So we've just ended the kid who's uh, garbage, by the way. It's another one to chuck on the fucking fire. What are we up to? Was it etiquette? I think we had heritage. And then, you know, we could just check the last kid to uh, to find out, can't we? Um, no, 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 not you. I need to see you. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we've just done etiquette, so now we need to go for this kid with struggle. Okay, Choden. Um, more like Ch Ch Chuden. Because I'm running out of I'm running out of puns basically. We need to go back. We need to go back to the whole point. We need to go back to the legacy of Gummy and Joris and return to the ways of the perfectly normal man. Otherwise. A, the series makes no fucking sense, and B, people clicking on the videos looking for some random thing just get a random Buddhist playthrough rather than funny, haha, <laughs> funny, very normal man playthrough, which is uh, sort of been the whole point of the series. So we'll, we'll try and go back to that some stage just because it'd be also a fun little challenge to see if we can graphically convert the whole of the map to perfectly normal people, or at least most of the Indian subcontinent. So what we're looking for then is a wife for the next generation, who is preferably, um, I mean, how are we going to track this down? Because it's not like we can search for perfectly normal men slash women in this, is it? If we search all for my dynasty, who are not married, that might, oh shit, what about if they are married, but we could make their husbands disappear, not that we would, not that this character would anyway. Oh man, we could have a real issue here. We'd have a real fucking problem in terms of... Oh, so, what about your kids? Uh, oh, 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 so he's unmarried. Or he is married, but he hasn't had any kids yet. Right, we'll just have to be patient a little bit. I'll have to make sure everyone's married off. We'll have to make sure that the, the strong Joris genes uh, and the, the strong gummy genes are being spread through the dynasty. Because they're the genes that... I'm not suggesting a eugenics program. But that is the way things are going, okay? YouTube, if you're watching, it's fine. Don't worry about it. They're perfectly normal men. There's, not, there's no racial connotations here. It's just we want to bring back some of that thing that, you know, made this round great in the first place. That's what we want to, that's what we want to bring back to the forefront here. Oh, God, do you think, do you think I tricked him with that? Do you think we got him? All right, um, we've got loads of gold. Now, we can spend 1,500 gold to try and get a rare artifact. Obviously, we tried to do that last time, and that went uh, completely tits up because our man died. So, I'm probably going to avoid doing that. I think we just want to focus on the family. Um... Oh shit, you're 47. You can get, you can go. Right, let's make sure that all of our concubines are young and have a good trait as well going for them. She's 37, that's fine. She's 43, ooh, risky. She's also depressed and stressed, so chances are that's not going to happen. We're not going to get another kid out of her. She's 30, okay, she's good. So we need to take another concubine then that's uh, at least got something going for her. What about uh, powerful, dare I ask? A search realm. Um... Yeah, there's no one kicking around, really. It's a 43-year-old. Oh, she's already our concubine. Good work. Um, genius? Uh, nope. There's our wife and our other concubine. Uh, strong? It, it's, it's slim pickings if we're going all the way down to strong. There's no one, is there? I'm going to have to dig through the realm and see who I can find. They'll say no to us uh, turning her into a concubine just directly, but we can just invite her to court. She's also apparently got titles on things. Not that I'm too worried about that. Uh, we can just spend 80 gold to bring her over. She's genius as well, so I'll take that. Right, there we go. Okay, that's that's that dealt with immediately. More chance of getting, hopefully, some decent kids eventually at some point. Who? Was that the concubine I set aside just immediately died? Oh, shit. Was it our father's... Did I take my father's ex-wife as a concubine? Oh, that's some big dick energy right there. That's a little bit, that's a little bit too much big dick energy. Okay, um, take concubine, perfect, done. She's apparently noble, so that gives us prestige too, which is kind of odd. Right, concubine is good. All of our kids are shit. Like, every single one of them is garbage. None of them have any good inheritable traits whatsoever, so we're just going to focus on that for a while. We could always go seduction focus, because in theory, that will give us a slight bonus towards having more kids. We could also just be a court tomcat a little bit, because our guy's not chased. He's not chased at all. And to be honest, given his, his predecessors, given his father's early death, the pressure is really on this guy to make sure that the dynasty is staying strong and the next generation is strong. This guy wasn't even good until we built him up into something. And even then, he's such a mixed bag of a character. Like, what's his air like right now? Fucking indolent and haughty? Oh, my... Oh, shit. Loser trait diligent as well. Oh, my God. All of our hard work is just getting annihilated by these useless characters. Okay, um... Ah, thank you. Oh, stone quarry's gone. Okay, that's more bad news. No, never mind. Don't thank you. I retract that thank you right there. 
Build a temple. Uh, fuck it. We'll be the most. It, the dynasty might fall apart, but my god, are we going to be revered as a man of at least some decent holy nature? Um, we can put that anywhere in our domain, right? It doesn't have to be directly. Oh, the reason I wanted to build it in our province because we can hold it. We're only six out of eight in our domain size, and if we put it down within our realm somewhere, we can obviously hold it because we're monastic feudal. Sure, stick a temple down there. That'll do. Or military advances. Damn, that's pretty good. Uh, I guess we'll go for military organization and build a retinue. I mean, we've got such a massive amount of cash. Not having a standing army seems like a bad idea. Himalayan Mountaineers. Light infantry plus light cavalry. Oh, that's a bit shit. Um, I'll probably just go for the regular cavalry retinue, to be honest with you. Or maybe throw in a few defense retinues to keep it going. Let's mix and match defense and cavalry. I'd love to get, like, an archer combo, too. But there are none that are very good. I don't want a hu this many light infantry. And it's not worth it for 125 archers to also get, like, a core of that army. Or three quarters of that army as, uh... Light infantry as well. Okay, that's that's not the best army, I will admit, but hey, it's better, it's better than nothing right now. We've just got a mountain of gold that I'm not really spending on anything else. We're just sort of running the eugenics game. So, you know, let's focus on let's focus on keeping things uh, keeping our head above water somewhat. Right, we're looking for women who are a perfectly normal man slash woman. Uh, is there anybody in the realm? It's a real shame you can't search by... Uh, I was going to say race, but I can sort of see that having some negative connotations, huh? That could really have some real fucking issues. It would just be easier to go through our family tree and see if we can find anybody who has the spirit of gummy. Um, Alright, so we've got our sister had a... She's a female? I think? I don't know? Um, Holy shit, we might have found someone. Okay, okay, okay. Let's assume that Pom... Let's assume that Pom is our best bet. Oh my god, they'll say yes. Holy shit, we're back in the game. Holy shit, we're back in the game. Okay, who else we got? Who else we got? Trashy Jr. Okay, yeah, don't worry about that. Um, okay, is there anyone else? Uh, what about you? Trinnell had a daughter who's not perfectly normal at all. Right, okay, might you special interest? Because you might be... This character might be genuinely the only character left who could potentially resurrect the true line of gummy. The, the true successor to the gummy line. Okay, um... I'm thinking we just arrange a betrothal, arrange marriage to get her into our court. Then if our character dies, we could, you know, maybe break the betrothal and marry off to someone else. Shit, we've got to make sure that she doesn't end up being betrothed to someone else. She's not noble or anything, though. What if we invite her mother to court? Oh my god, her mother's out of range slightly? Ah, shit. And her kid's in a different court entirely. Okay, so this kid is nobody. They're a high-born dynasty, but barely. So it's not going to matter too much. Twelve living members, none of them have any land besides this random Khan who also has no land. Okay, that's fine. Uh, what have they got? They've got... They've had twelve counties, but right now they've got held nothing. So we're fine. Okay, that's that's interesting. That's interesting. So we keep a close eye on them. Make sure this character doesn't get betrothed. Marry her off later on, woman. Hopefully we've got a better heir because they're all just so garbage. I don't want to waste the last successor of Gummy on a kid that we might not end up playing as. Pombonson had Silk Shroud added to our treasury. Who? Our mother died. Right. Oh, she had a Silk Shroud. That's kind of cool because that increases intrigue. Um, so depending on what we want, we can swap out intrigue for diplomacy or, or vice versa. Okay, that's fine. We want to try and get back how to build a well, but honestly, it could be fucking anywhere at this stage. It was like this guy. Oh, there it is. Boris's book. Uh, we can't steal it back, though. That's the problem because if they've got it equipped, they can't be stolen because, you know, it's not like Oblivion where you can literally whip the clothes off of someone's back here. So we'd have to go raiding. We'd have to raid into his... Oh my god, his capital actually does have a border with our land. That is our land, right? Um, I don't know if that counts. Do we have to have a border? I never do any sort of, like, within land border raiding. Especially not as a Buddhist, especially not in India. So you have to bear with me while I learn the, the sort of the various religious affected mechanics. So if we mark these guys as raiders, um, which we're not because our... L Wait, I thought we were allowed to loot as Buddhist. Comment section, did you fucking lie to me? I thought we... Okay. There was a comment that said, Mr. Streamer, don't forget you're allowed to loot. No. No. Apparently not. Apparently not. You're a liar. Why are we not allowed to... No, we're actually not. What, what the fuck were you talking about, comment section? This is the last time I believe anyone there. Okay, so uh, what that means is essentially we can't ever get this back unless we flip to... Uh, is, it not, is it not Hindu who can loot? Um, I know one of the religions can. Let's just double check here. So you are Buddhist. You are Hindu. Right, right, right. Okay, can you loot? Um... Yeah, so rulers can raid in for down every through. Like, so Hindu can uh, loot. So if we flip over to Hindu, which we could do now, but obviously, given that we are knee-deep in Buddhism, that's probably not a great idea. Well, we're kind of up to our fucking neck at this stage, given that we're the second highest rank in the uh, Buddhist monastic order. Unless we flip over, there's actually no way to get this book back, because we can't steal an artifact that got equipped, unless he dies and plays as a child, because I don't believe you can equip a book unless you have a certain amount of learning, right? Um... No, you can just equip it no matter what. Oh, that's fucking stupid. Well, you think a baby can learn how to build a well? 
Ridiculous. <laughs> Mr. Streamer, you have every series. <laughs> That's a good joke. I've learned my lesson. Mr. Streamer will not burn his concubine today. Instead, we will just brand her. <laughs> That's definitely not worrying at all. Um, to be fair, she is most likely... Yeah, she's almost certainly a member of the... What is the Devil Worshipper Society? Um, I have no clue. Apparently there's not one. Maybe we just can't see it for whatever reason. Um, okay, fair enough. Well, she, she probably is a devil in that case, so we won't worry about it. Uh, now, of course, there are other ways that we potentially get a successor to Gummy. So if we do have to marry that kid off to a random kid, it's not such a big deal. This guy here, Bonson Lotson, could also have a daughter, which again could pass on the, the legacy of Gummy. Um, an excellent idea, my spy master. We have way too much fucking gold, so you know what? Just take the lot. Um, okay, how are we looking? So she's two. Who was, who was Braganinant, right? One of the, one of the, ah, the wife. Okay, here we go. Lotson. Boom. Fucking nothing again, are you kidding? Was it every kid of our first dynasty was coming out like prodigy or powerful or genius or something like that? Ever since then, we used up all our luck on that first fucking generation because now nobody is getting anything. Fine. Oh, God. Okay, so you are going for pride this time. I mean, you're going to be regardless. Lots and bonson. Lots and a classic name, even though it's not one I've come up with. It's a classic name in the dynasty, so we're not going to affect that one too much. Okay, um, so we really don't have a choice of any of these good kids, do we? So it really is probably going to be almost entirely down to education here. So let's make sure they're all being educated. That would also help. We can also uh, chuck them... Right, that's just a sign guardian from the list here. What have we got? Um, Jerky is pretty good. She's patient. We're looking for patient, diligent, or preferably both in combination. Um, is there anybody with both? From what I can... Ah, Lotson has it. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, go Lotson. Um, then we've got you. Don't really care about daughters. Let's make sure that the good guardians are going to the sun to start off with, because we can play as the sons. Has Lotson got room for another air educator? Yeah, he has. Okay, there we go. Right, and then daughters. You know what? Just, just fucking get out of here. Normally, the game does default to a pretty good educator anyway, so it's not a big deal. So who do we want to put the eggs in the eggs basket? So this kid is... I mean, indolent and haughty is absolutely awful. Um, this kid's not too bad. Haughty as well, affectionate is not necessarily good, plus in combination with Rowdy and Conscientious is kind of a bad combo. Uh, that kid's also fucking haughty. That kid's an idolizer, which is generally quite bad. Um, I mean, Zealous and Erudite are obviously good. Erudite is kind of situational, we don't really need any more learning as Buddhist. And then Frail is also kind of crappy, and you got to remember women asset feudal, so we really don't want Erudite, or we don't want to prioritize Erudite. Um, who else we got? We've got this kid. So it might just be, I should educate this kid myself, fuck this. We're gonna, we're wasting so much time trying to min-max the education that the AI, that the randomness of it is just ending up with some garbage children here. Let's try, let's start t teaching this kid virtues right now. Lotson the second. I'm gonna try and impart all of my glorious wisdom onto you. Look, look at that. Zero years old, already four diplomacy. I'll take that. That's a fine start. And we've got another chance. So we have 905 devotion. I think we picked two kids and put our eggs into those baskets. This kid did get Machiavellian. Now, it's a minus two to everything, but it is plus six to entry. So we could play as a more of an entry character. I hate to say it, but I think entry is probably the weakest method of playing right now when we control. Like, it's good, say, for example, you're a random duke in the HRE, you're trying to get yourself elected or whatever. But this, when we're in this scenario, with so much power in the round just in terms of military and economy, intrigue is not really going to help out too much. You know, if we want things, we'll buy our way there or we'll take it by force. A guy sneaking his way around fabricating claims with the fucking intrigue menu or whatever is a complete waste of time, I think, at this point. So I'm not going to bother with you. What about Unbearable? Unbearable's got some nice traits. I mean, Conscientious is good. Rowdy can be good. Affectionate can be good as well. Um, okay, what about Paul? Paul's also kind of shitty. Yogi's bad. Was Yogi bad? Yeah, Yogi's pretty bad. Unbearable, pretty bad. Oh my god, so it's basically just lots and that's half decent. And he's got Indolent and Horsey, so I don't even want to look at that kid. Uh, the reason I want to pick two is because that way we can probably get enough points with the Monastic Society to break even. Because I want to be able to train this kid with all of our virtues. But if we're training too many kids with virtues, then we're going to run out of points. Maybe I will just save more for this guy. Hey, we're Chase now. Okay, never mind. That's the end of the dynasty. So we might as well put all our eggs in this basket then. Fuck it. Marking the special interest. I'm going for the Lotson. We're going for the Bonson Lotson. Let's do it. Arrange betrothal between him and... She's three years of age. So that, that's not a terrible age gap too. Right, do it. Boom. We're in. We're in. The legacy of Gummy is potentially restored next generation. This kid, I've got to make sure I'm very, very diligent about educating this guy now. Oh, I don't want to burn my Chinese commander. He's so good. No, no, no. Let him go. Fuck you. I'm, I've got to be a bit more careful about who I keep burning with this uh, with this priest because I end up killing so many good characters with it. Peace be upon you. Uh, what do you want? You want some gold? That's fine. We can do that. No problem. Uh, gold is the one thing we pretty much can do right now. There you go, my friend. So that is Okay, what other traits? We don't want to teach him Chaser. That's the problem. That's the one thing I don't want to teach him. Out of all of the, 
all of the virtues, Chaste is kind of shitty. Um, we, well, we, hang on a minute, we can get that Christian church opinion plus five. Um, I guess we'll just have to keep rolling the dice. I'd rather wait until we've got all of them, because that does technically lower the chance of obviously giving them Chaste, but we're going to try and give them all of them anyway. Oh, nice, we also got Diligent, fucking hell. Wow, that's insanely good. Please don't be genius, I'll cry. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. Okay, it seems weird to not want the kids to be genius, but now we've arranged that betrothal. If we break it, they might not accept it again, so I'll be pissed off at us. Gungston? Gungston was a good name. Um... Let me think. What have we got left over? Bennington. That's a great name. That is a traditional Tibetan name. You might not believe me, but that is as genuine. You can look that up. That's on Wikipedia somewhere, I'm sure. Okay. Um, I really should be marrying off some of these other garbage kids as well for the... Ooh. What's a... Th a Thikana is the uh, Thanich, isn't it? So that's not terrible. We've got a lot of gold left over. Oh, was that this one? Right, okay, so that's pretty good, because that's one of the ones that was making our borders extremely ugly. So if we move our fabricated claim guy over to this duchy now, we've essentially got everything that doesn't belong to our king. At which point we just say, do you want to leave your throne now, or should we take it by force? Because I'm pretty sure at that stage we could just start a faction to set us up, right? Um, or we could just go for an independence faction push demands. We also have a kingdom level type we could push against them. There's a lot of ways we could go about this. Um... I mean, if we go for the kingdom, that basically just gives them the tiny little kingdom. That would just give them this, the tiny little kingdom of Bengal, and it would give us a kingdom level title. We wouldn't have to usurp it or anything like that, because he might still hold land. Oh, he doesn't. Okay. We could usurp it, but it would be easier to just press the claim and get independence that way. What the hell has happened here? Oh my god. <laughs> um... Well, it's not the biggest round, but to be fair, he's done a pretty fucking good job. So this is... Who is this guy? Galpo Purgle. Uh, okay. And then here's... That's Bjorn's son. So Bjorn's grandson is currently in charge of that. Oh, was this the... Oh, so we've got two random unmarried women of our dynasty. Whoa, whoa, whoa. not of our dynasty, sorry. But some of the inheritors of, of Gummy there. That's so weird. Oh, they're from Joris. So they're like real distant relatives then. Holy shit. Wow, that's um, that's kind of cool. You know, it's a, it's a hell of a way to check where your dynasty have spread out to. Oh man, so that's an incredibly good province, and we might even want to move that over to our capital. It's on the trade route, it's got so many subholdings, two of which temples, which obviously we can hold. We can go one, two, three, four, five holdings there. We obviously can't really remove the cities anyway, so that would be uh, a pretty good get for a six holding province, because a lot of the six holding provinces in India are already fully developed. Let's go to like, uh, I don't know, Goa is one, or at least provinces around Goa. I mean, this whole area is obviously very good, as you can see, it's like five and six province holdings. Going down here wouldn't be too bad. What about his capital? Um, okay, there's another one. You see they're fully developed, whereas this one has four cities in it. So this might be one of the best provinces in the Indian subcontinent for us to go for right now. Mainly because we can hold that many sub-provinces in it. Okay, that'd be good. Then we'd have to revoke the titles, which could be a bit more difficult. Um, the only way I think to do it is we'd have to grant them independence, and then I assume as a Buddhist, because we've got such limited Cassus Belli here, we're almost relying entirely on fabricate claims and the occasional, maybe, border dispute or building up enough prestige. Oh my god, we actually might be able to forge bloodline with this fella as well, especially if we become a king. Is that a goal for this guy? Build another bloodline to show that the dynasty hasn't completely lost. You know, everyone's saying, hey, how's Bonson? They've had their golden age, literally. They're never going to be, no one's going to be as good as Gummy. They're going to, their bloodline's thinning, they're weakening, they're, they're confining themselves up to monasteries. They're losing their position in this world. And our, we've got some hungry vassals under us looking to pull us apart. I'm thinking this guy needs to, we need to, we need to cement this goddamn dynasty, I'm telling you. We get to the 5,000 prestige, we're going to forge a bloodline. We're going to forge a goddamn bloodline as this man. I think he can do it. I genuinely think he can, especially if we get independence, especially if we get that kingdom level title too. Speaking of which, we could just grab this immediately. Um, oh my god, we could border dispute fellow vassals. I actually have no idea we could do that. I thought that was limited to external walls. Um, interesting. Right, not only that, we could also grant landed titles to these characters under us. Do we have any claimants of the duchy level type that we could potentially invite? Um, she's married. What if we invite, like, uh, let's see if we can buy a favor. Nope, we cannot. What if we buy a favor from you? Uh, also cannot. Relative is married to... A count what does that mean? Oh, he's, he's a counselor, right? You could just tell me that instead of being so cryptic there. It's like crossing a... Crossing a crossword puzzle? You know what I meant. Oh my god, what the hell's going on? Bengal Palladio War, is this... I mean, I assume we're leading the charge on that one, huh? Um, my, my lead, yeah, yeah. So we're leading the charge on that one. Uh, we're getting attacked by that guy. And then we're also being called in as a tributary to this ma random, perfectly normal man's war. What the fuck? What is happening? Absolute Cognatic. I'd love to go for that one too. No has a negative opinion. If that's not difficult to solve when you've got 1,500 gold in the bank. One of these must be true. Has culture Uskal, uh, Zhang Zung, Sumpa, Cathar, Masalian, Mazdaki, 
Uh, we need to have full equality, which we don't. One of these must be true. Our holder title has to just have full status of women, or we have gender equality set to all. That could be difficult, but to be honest, we've not really been passing many laws, because not many laws are good for us to pass right now. Um, low centralization. I mean, we don't really need the domain size. We haven't, we haven't maxed out our current domain size, so there's no way in hell I'd ever change that unless we needed it. Could also go for light administration if we wanted to mess around with that type of thing. Fuck it, let's go for it. Council's not allowed to... Uh, so we're going to lose 100 karma. That doesn't really matter, does it? Boom. Let's do it. We'll start moving our way up. Flip over to Agnatic Cognatic. That way, if we ever end up in a situation like this again, where half of our, where all of our airs are garbage, we've got double the pool to pick from. So that might be a little bit more valuable to us in the future. Plus, it means if we ever end up in a scenario where the only inheritor of Gummy happens to be this very young... What did you just do? Uh, it doesn't really matter. Happens to be this very young, random uh, woman else across the other side of the world. Then we could play as a, a female instead. Right, um, is there anyone we could potentially give you to, ah, uh, child be a hostage in foreign power, could I maybe sway you to give me control over this character so we can educate her so she's half decent? I'd love to get the child that we're marrying off to and her to have the same education so that there's more chance of the event whereby they become friends, you know? And let me look over your shoulder and help you with the papers or whatever the fucking event is, you, you guys probably know it. Uh, so the more chance we can do that, obviously the more they like one another, more chance to get more heirs and more chance of the dynasty growing to have the, to have the succession, the inheritance of gummy. Okay, um, oh man, this, look at this beast of a man. Aberrant. So he's, he's got no interest in anything but fighting. I mean, plus 80 personal combat. Just a giant fucking dude. Minus 2 to everything, plus 5 health, but plus 80 personal combat. Plus brawny as well. Plus brilliant strategies. My god, this actually might be a side effect of one of the mods we've got, which actually makes the AI choose more intelligent educations for their kids. And I think this guy might be a real good case in point there. 133 personal combat, 15 martial for a random NPC in modern CK2 is actually quite nice because they're really garbage with Conclave. Um, I mean, he's picked his son. I mean, yeah, to be fair, it's clearly doing a good job. He's actually not bad. Yeah, I think this mod might actually be working. I was a little skeptical because that's quite a lot to ask of the game because that's like a serious sort of AI change that obviously Paradox himself apparently haven't cracked. But it seems to be working as intended. I mean, you'd obviously see a lot more powerful rulers if it was true, and honestly, they're not dropping much below 12 in a lot of their stats from the guys we've seen. Okay, that's a that's a Dutch level title, right? Shit. Say no more. That's that's great. I mean, that's everything, but then the leech level title, so we could potentially also not only forge gold bloodline with this guy, move up to king. I mean, we can move up to king. I, I mean, whatever we want, really, but we can grab these other titles here and, and guarantee it. Let's get the retinue in position. Uh, can we buff the retinue up anymore? I mean, I could pick a couple of archers. I know I said I wanted to do that. Fuck it, let's do it. Uh, let's get one single retinue of archers there. Um, let's get those guys merged. Let's get our best commanders on there. So we've got a load of these Chinese education, these, these Chinese uh, martial leadership traits. So they are incredibly good as well. Let's move them just one province away. Um, I'm missing some of the more comforting aspects of the faith. What does she want us to do? Uh, more funds. Yeah, I'm always glad when she gives us that mission. Because it's basically, hey, do you want to rank up now or, or, you know, later on instantly? There we go. Nice. So we only need another 100. We'll have that by the end of the year, no problem. Two kids lacking education focus. So let's see what our first sort of generation is like. Unbearable. Okay, not terrible. It could potentially be an alright diplomat of learning education. To be fair, now that I've buffed that up and now that I've made it a specific playstyle, it might be interesting to check that out at some stage. I think for the time being, where things are still a little bit tumultuous in regards to succession and heirs, we'll stick with the, the safer diplomacy play. We've not played as a diplomacy character anyway, so if it does come out good, we might want to actually roll with that. And then our next kid here, we've got Yogi. Um, okay, we've got another entry character. You know what, let's turn Yogi into learning. Fuck it, why not? He, I mean, he's such a mixed bag, he's got seven learning, and Intrigue might have fit him a bit better. Oh, shit, he's Machiavellian. Should have definitely picked Intrigue in that case, but hey. You know what, let's go for learning, just as, uh, j we're, we're taking a break a little bit there from the, uh, the dedicated character pro personality, well, just to check out some of the features, I guess. Right, Lotson, you are designated regent, because I trust you. You've educated many kids to a decent standard. Yogi, okay, which one is you? Which one is you? <laughs> Incredible. Ironic that we would give him Gregarious there, and I fucked it up. Oh, no, don't get content. This monastic society is screwing us so bad. We don't have any air with any sort of congenital trait. We've got chased. Great. Well, that's what it's a little bit in that regard. We are really lacking in stats and had a garbage education. Now we're content. I mean, we're not really lacking in stats, I'll be honest. Right, okay, let's stop stalling. Let's, let's, let's kill some guys. So what have you got? 700 troops. Oh, my friend, you are doomed. This war is over before it's even started, especially if we get a day away without playing on speed 5. Nonsense. This is brilliant. The world needs to see it. Give us that diplomacy plus one. Right. I want to become a king today. That's 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 my that's my head kind of goal. I know I've decided on that well, in 90% through the episode. I have no idea at this stage. Right. Claim Dimapur. 
And their troops now can't escape. Their morale is low. Commanders are garbage. Knees weak. Arms are heavy. We could assault that down. Losses would be heavy. So we're not going to do that. We're just going to... Did I just run heavy with heavy? D ignore that. That didn't happen. All right, let's speed through it. There's a reason that kid didn't get Gregarious. Let's put it that way. Perhaps it's time I asked who? Oh, that big, strong Gregor Clegane type man. Because I want to educate that kid. Save the kid might be a more appropriate way to phrase that. Okay, that war should be over. Uh, excuse me. Ah, uh, I was happy to have you here. Sure, whatever. There we go. Oh, because he's also content. Oh, I see. Right, right. There we go. Boom. Um, nope. Thank you. Right. You are gone. Thank you very much. All right. These borders are going to look so nice when we've dealt with this one. Right. Now, we're a province away again. Now, I imagine this guy might be able to match just our retinue or not. Not at all. They could hire troops. 113 gold. Oh, they can't quite hire troops unless they've, uh... She never saw that one coming, huh? You never see that one coming. Palm Bonson the second comes down from his mountain. The bean counter to count her bean. Incredible. Um, <laughs> let's, let's not worry about that. Let's just, let's just wipe her out. Fuck it. Give me, give me a Dutch. I should have moved into a capital a day away. But you know, we've caught most of our troops there anyway. So it's not a big deal. Oh, God. <laughs> Suddenly, 15,000 men come sneaking out the fog. Ah, oh, shit. Well, there go my retinue. Okay. You want funds? Definitely can't afford it now. Shit. Fucking hell. No, stop it. You weird man. I was waiting for claims forever, and now this guy's like, hey, I got a claim. Hey, I got another claim. Do you want this claim yet? Shit. Well, there go our troops. Okay, no mind. We're at 32% war score because apparently that counted as a battle against them. What? All right. Retreat out. Retreat out. We're going to have to use our domain troops. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. I'm much cheaper to reinforce troops, which won't really matter if we take any losses. What a real shame, huh? Ah, oh, fuck it. Right, news dead. I'll rebuild it to a better, a better standard anyway because there's some way too much light infantry in that one. Okay, that's worrying. Uh, 6,195 men. However, we've got 5,000 enemies there. Another thousand, another 2,000 enemies there. We've got 8,400 there. And some snuck away into the fog. Um, you know what? Let's get some mercenaries. Because this is like a, a fairly major duchy. And I think there's probably a war over that duchy as well. So if we take it, we're going to have to defend it regardless. And we've got a mountain of cash. So I think it's an absolutely fair exchange. Let's take ourselves 10,000 men over there. Just to really guarantee that we're going to be fairly safe. No, no, you get no gold. Look at what we're in the middle of, and you think you want fucking gold to waste on incense and lumber, you weird woman. Get out of here. We're groomed in air. Did we, though? Did we? Uh, he's actually not bad. He's genuinely not bad to say that he had some real garbage traits going on there. That actually might be a counterpoint to having rich childhood and these other education mods. They get a lot more childhood traits than would in the base game. Normally get, what, like two or three childhood traits? In this, they get, I've seen characters with like six childhood traits. It's, it's kind of unreal. Um, I believe we ourselves had six when playing as this character, right? We had a, just a ridiculous amount. So, because of that, your chance of becoming an average character is massively increased, because traits are just going to cancel one another out, and you're just going to end up with a perfectly average guy. To say that, and we've still got 16 diplomacy, we've ended up like shrewd, ambitious. His traits are really elevating him here. Without shrewd and ambitious, what would he have? Like 12 diplomacy there? Um, yeah, he wouldn't be particularly good. Right, this is going to be a fucking state, huh? Isho? Yan, Yan Ruo and Deva Booty. Good luck. Thank you, my friend. I was trying to think of a real bad pun on his name. But you know what? Decided, let's not. Let's be the bigger man here. Let's be the bigger man here and not make a pun about Deva Booty. Oh, I see. He fucking turned tail and got his Deva Booty straight fucking out of there, huh? Right, I see. Fucking push comes to shove and Deva Booty's... Oh, okay. They turned around. That's good. Uh, yeah, we need to now turn... What happened? The war ended. Oh, my God. Safe. Okay. And they actually didn't also take the province, too. Right, um, we're gonna, I meant safe as in, like, we're safe, not as in, like, you know, early 2000s, uh, British cool boy talk. It's my privilege. We're now the highest rank. What are we now? Uh, what is that? Ar Ar Aran, Aranat. What does that give us? Oh, National Aurora's minus 8% is actually kind of huge. Um, especially with all this rapid expansion we're going on as well. Potentially, especially in India, you've got all the various different religious groups. So you're gonna get a lot of religious uprisings, a lot of religious upheavals. So that seems like a really good society when you become the, the Samarak Chakravartin or, or any sort of Emperor level title. Um, temple build cost also down a lot as well. We can hold temples. So that's a really, really nice reduction on just uh, what is essentially a, a province that's gonna give us troops and taxes and tech. That's quite nice. Okay. 88%. I think we probably got this one in the bag. I think we're fairly safe here. We can go and kill these troops. I very much doubt we're capped out a battle war score. Not even close. 100%. That'll do it. Hey, that works out pretty goddamn well, huh? Look at Bunden. Look at Bunden. And this is our liege, inverted commas. Is he shitting himself yet? You should be. You absolutely... We taught him a virtue, did we? Oh my god, this was the kid, right? Was this the kid of the guy that we were... 
that, that we were rivals with and we like raised him and taught him a virtual and were like really friendly with him for a while. That's kind of nice. Um, right, we're gonna, we're gonna move in here. We're gonna get these troops out of here because we want to go to war with this guy. So if you could fuck off in advance, we don't have to, you know, worry about unaccounted for variables. Right, okay. I think we want to get independence, but honestly, I don't think we just want to get independence. I think we want to go for immediately probably pushing our claim on the kingdom. So if we get... Wait, what? Oh, do we have to get independence first? Right, 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 right. Yeah, cool. Um, so independence first. Why? Because he's got... Oh, because we're on his council. Right, right, right. Cool. Let's resign from that. Start off with then. Or not. Oh, yeah, we are. Okay, resign from the council. Then we go for independence. And then this guy is going to be just swallowed up. We need to attack him very, very quickly. Because we are making this guy super, super vulnerable. If we're not there to provide the bulk of his armies. Let's do it. Still got 8,000 men to his credit because he's got this ridiculously advanced province here. Four, 406 county taxes. A lot to say that we did all of that golden bloodline shit. We've been part of the trade league for years and years and years. We've got 218. And he's only got two more pro or, or three more holdings than us there. That's actually really impressive for the AI to get it up to that stage given that we were specifically min-maxing that shit. My god. Okay. Oh, did I miss that one? Oh, it's part of his domain anyway, so it's not a big deal. All right. Um... So what we want to do then is actually start fabricating claims on this duchy, because this is part of the realm that we've got a, a kingdom level claim on. So we can just form it and then press claims on that if we want to. This, however, we don't. This is the kingdom of Bengal, so we actually want to deal with that as soon as possible. Is this our province too? Oh, it is. Shit. Wow, we're on the other side of him. We're, we're surrounded on all sides. It doesn't really help out too much, because obviously he still has a border with all the others. That would be the only time that would be useful if it was like blocking off someone else from pushing border disputes or claims or anything like that. Donate to charity. We don't need to do that anymore. What a waste of gold. What an absolute waste. Can I have that back? Is it banned? For me to ask for money back from monastic orders. I think that's I think that's considered a dick move in uh I'm just gonna say bear society, but there are clearly no bears in uh in, in Tibet. Yogi, um you deserve greatness, Yogi. Go get it. Go get that picnic basket, Yogi. Uh he's actually not too terrible. I'm glad we didn't train him in intrigue though, given that he's now ambitious and paranoid and Machiavellian. If he'd have got an intrigue education on top of that, we'd be looking at a kid with like twenty plus intrigue there. Okay, glad. Um, in hindsight, probably fine. Probably good that we... Maybe. Hey, we wanted him through training and learning because our man's dedicated his whole life to the monastery. He wants to also show a kid the, the glory of... And, and the, the, not the glory. That's wrong. That's not what it is. The humility and the and the enlightenment that comes with our society are uh, based around <clears throat> Buddha or other excuses that I'm sure I could think up of if I've given enough time. Well, that's annoying. Um, right, let's get out of there. I should do the command myself. Oh, God, shall we, though? Eight personal combat. What is this guy? Fucking, like, got no arms or legs? Huh. <laughs> Might as well have. I don't want to do that. Let everyone know if it's cowardice, because he wants to run away. Fuck it, let's do that. We're not We're not going to risk that. We're absolutely not going to risk a, a random about that. I don't care about Crusaders. We're on the wrong continent for that. Thank you. Right, I want to kind of lure him over a river. We've got 9,300 troops, so we should still be good regardless. But I still want to play it careful. Oh, shit, we can guarantee him patient as well. This character could have been an intrigue powerhouse. All right. Can we chase him to here? Oh, there's no river crossing. Oh, and he's movement locked. Oh, you fool. We've got him. That's that's absolutely. He's got jungle. It's not going to matter. Our commanders are so, so good. He's not got no commander on his flank. The man's done. Come on. Go home. Um, top side is. We can just afford it. These mercenaries are really cutting into our cash a little bit, though. Chase him down. We can actually come back and assault that province. Why? They've only got a garrison of 600 dudes. To say this is a massively, a massively upgraded province. Oh, my God. Look at the tech as well. Fucking hell. These guys have really dropped the ball on their defenses, though. I guess that's a downside to it, huh? Right. Um, we can just assault them and down, did I say? Um, yeah, more or less. Yeah, we outnumber them by... Oh, level six. <laughs> Burn our best warrior. Nah. Absolutely not. I don't care if he's the most suspicious man in the world. What's the worst that could happen? He worships demons. Great. We've now got a demonic commander on our center. Yeah, that's not that's not a problem, my friend. You are, you are looking... You are barking at the wrong tree. Okay, um... Oh, God, what are they pushing a claim for? This is what I said. We're independent. They've seen him as just now a tasty morsel. He's basically not much larger than a duchy, huh? Um, still got 6,000 troops kicking around. What the fuck are they, then? Uh, has he got anyone leading them? He does somewhere. Okay, well, it's clearly not that guy. Um, what else he got kicking around? Okay, well, it's clearly also not that guy, thank you. You know, it's not a big deal. If they turn up, they turn up. But we're not going to chase them halfway across the continent to try and, uh, try and tidy up. Have we even got enough battle war score left? Not really worth it. Occupation is definitely where we should go. Um, I should wake up for anyone catches on. Think nothing of it, friend. We are, we are making friends. What is it? Make doing friends and uh, making enemies. I don't remember. Someone someone smarter than me can probably remember. I'm sure. Young Yogi has finished his ways now. Dutiful cleric. Good. We've nerfed him pretty significantly. Um, you're also content, by the way. 
That was a, that was a political manoeuvre. That was a political manoeuvre, but you know what? Our guy's a Buddhist. Our guy is a contempt Buddhist himself. That makes perfect sense that we would also want him to reflect that monastic study. There you are. Okay, that actually might be enough to finish the war. So how much about war score we got left? Oh, we've only got 12%. It won't be enough, but we might as well do it just because it's easy war score, huh? There we go. Goodbye. Okay, 93%. Now we're capped out about war score. We are indeed. Um, is this promise just quickly... Oh, this, this one we could just turn up. Assault down, you motherfuckers. Are we fine? Yeah, just... That's not ideal. Just keep sneaking out the goddamn fog fighting people who aren't even our enemy at this stage. We'll still assault that down. Um, the Mahabharata. The Hindu Mahabharata. I thought the Hindu holy book was like the... But is, is it the Bhagavad Gita? Am I saying that right? I don't know. I don't remember. I'm not going to... I'm, I'm not going to edit this out because I feel like I'm, I'm accidentally racist and probably confusing it with an entirely different culture. Um... Okay, let's not worry about it. I'm not saying Paradox is wrong. It's probably just a probably just a different book. It's probably just like a... It's probably just a different book. Don't worry about it. Okay, don't, don't worry about that at all. Right, enforced demands. Boom, we're done. Roger Bonson, Pom, the second of Bunden, has won. Look upon my realm. Look upon my realm. Bunden. Independent. And, more importantly, arguably, the greatest... <laughs> this is not going to... It's going to be like the world's worst medal here. The best realm... In the east, on the eastern border, led by a man with no hair. I think that's that's indisputable. Indisputable. That perfect normal man has has hair because he's a perfect normal man. Are we are we actually? Is this the medal I win? Fucking done it. They've all got mustaches and stuff, so that doesn't count. Nailed it. That's it. That's a, that's a big gain for us to be honest with. That's a, that's a real good. That's a lot of prestige coming our way for being the most bold man on this. Build a great work. No. We could afford it, but great works are so fucking bad. No, we're gonna we're gonna have for the bloodline. Let's go for the bloodline. Uh, King of Utsang. Why can't we do that? Maybe we can do that. I mean, what do we need for that? Ooh, or is that just our capital? Oh no, we definitely can't do that. That that's going completely the wrong direction. We want to become like. Assume we can't become the king of this place. We'd have to move our capital into a province in that realm. So we'd have to stick our capital here or something. Um. Oh, that's Bengal as well. Shit. Um. Okay, we'd have to move it there. What do we need to create that? Oh, we cannot accept title from someone who's at war, but he still has realm inside it. So we'd have to go to war with him again. Obviously, that'd be truth-breaking, so that's not going to happen. So I've gone up to Tolerance 4 there as well, so we've got full status of women. I need to remember to just keep passing those laws as much as possible. Go away another five years. This man is probably not going to be able... Oh, I don't know. Actually, it might be close. 10, 15 more years, and we could potentially do it. Okay. Um... It's not bad, though, is it? It is every... Is it every five years or every ten years? It might be every ten years. In which case, I mean, we've still probably got enough time. 67... Oh, that's still that's still very viable. Well, I mean, it would only be 25 years because we've already passed through five on this one, if that's true. So, I mean, it's still potentially viable that we could set ourselves up a female ad. Not that we would, because obviously we've got this going on. Ooh, brooding is nice. Let's teach you another virtue. Why not? Um, it's not the opinion. Can you only do that once? Or all oh, right, expires in three years' time. Right, so it's every. I forgot, I forgot that there was a, a modifier associated with that. Okay, we'll do that as much as possible then. This kid could be good. Brooding is a fantastic start. So we can also found a titular kingdom, but I'm not going to do it because it will cost us... Um, it costs prestige, right? Oh, you just need the prestige. It doesn't actually take it away. So we could do that, and then we would gain the prestige for having the kingdom title. So actually, the more ticking prestige we get... I've taken the... The only ambition that was worth taking, because the other was become a king of a province we weren't interested in, which of course you can't cancel, so you wouldn't be able to forge the bloodline. The other one was something also that we didn't want, that was kind of garbage, and obviously we don't want to not have an ambition, because then we lose prestige. Um, let's do it. Let's do it. Oh my god, we've got hair now. No. Take that medal away. We don't deserve it anymore. Hey, that's that's incredible, though, because we're not going to be at war for quite a long time, so we know all the ticking prestige we can get because we've got round piece there. We could always go to war for it, but I don't believe we get too much of our, our prestige penalty for that, do we? Um, is there anything else we could do for prestige here, then? Uh, anything at all? You got me like, uh, got me like a big old statue? Build a big old statue, a big old fountain with prestige flowing out of it? Nothing. Okay. Um, <laughs> what about in the hospital? We got anything from there? What's that? That's karma, isn't it, from a hospital? Because you're saving people's lives. That's boring. Just give me prestige instead. You'd be very hated. Why are we so hated? Oh, right, because we've taken everybody's titles. We haven't dished any out. Oh, we can give them away now, though. Um, who who of you guys like me? Do you like me? You kind of like me. Do you mean how Dutchies? We could do with that, no problem. What about you? You also hate me. So what we're going to do then, um, this is very straightforward, really. We find the guy inside a Dutchie that likes us the most. We give him the Dutchie level title. That gets rid of the other two vassals that hate us. And this guy's going to love us now because we've made him a duke. That seems like the safest play. Okay, uh, what else we got then? So we've got the Duchy of Varendra, I think is how you say that. Um, you hate me. You don't. 
There's a, and he's betrothed to my niece. So that seems to be a very straightforward province here. There you go. Boom. Done. Okay, what else we got? Who else fucking hates me? Oh, that's it. Done. Faster Management 101. I think we have to leave that here today based on the fact that, A, uh, it's one minute to five in the morning. And I feel like my neighbors any second are going to kick my front door down and strangle me to death in cold blood. Why is that man down... What is it? Mummy, why is that strange man downstairs screaming about perfectly normal men and winning a medal for being a bold man? I don't know. Go back to sleep. Go back to sleep. The police are on their way. The bad man can't hurt you anymore. Thank you for watching. Not that the bad man... I don't know what that was supposed to... Don't... This isn't a pro-Jared situation, all right? Or not a pro-Jared situation. I don't really keep up with, with YouTube drama. But it's not that. Whatever you think him, it's just it's just a perfectly normal man. It's just a perfectly normal man all along. Thank you to the patrons, including Aiden W, Alpha, Scuff, Anthony Gawley, Asuna Kirito, Atmosis, Average Gamer 419, Bacon Kitten, follow along, children. That was not a patron. That's just someone I'm, I'm just telling you to follow along. Sidini, say it out loud. Crazy Pat, Croesus, Donald, Emerald Beam, Facundo Vasquez, Fluffernutter, Ghost of Protocol, Gogolus, Harik, Jimbo, Jonah Waters, Josh Lindine, Tesla, Justin Wallace, Kanan Carter, Michael Mullen, Muskratful. If you want to throw in some claps in between all these, feel free to. Natbuskus911, Nathan Flores, Necrophilum, Pelvis Presley, Richard Clark, Rodin Scott, Skaz, Somnus, Stannis the Manus, Shayok Swain, The Forsaken One, Tibet Cruz, Tom Terry, Team Talikan, Vacuus Backus, and William Green. I should write a Patreon song. That'd be fun. Um, no, it wouldn't. I think that would be an absolute fucking waste of time. I think that'd be awful. Maybe. I don't know. Well, we'll see how it goes. I've got a MIDI keyboard. We could, we could absolutely write just the world's most drank Patreon outro song. The issue is I'd have to change it every month. That's a lot of... Or, or not even maybe every month. Because, I mean, if new pa people patronize, I mean, every other day, then that's real going to be... That's going to be a lot of work. That's like a new song every day. What am I? B band that produces a lot of garbage songs? That's right. Uh, <laughs> sorry, it's very early in the morning. Can you tell? Thank you to Astro, Adam in person, Andrew Walsh, Andrew Wilson, Attila, Austin Taylor, Bordoom, Ben Trope, Bethesda Smite, Spencer Valerian, Black Double H, Chris, Corey C.A., David Van Diepen, Don, Dunk, Honey, Twin Seven, Easy to Pronounce Name, Eric Farrell, Exploding Knees, Fraser Brennan, Gabriel Van Ders, Gaz, Genji Zerko, Gompo, Gray, Haji Dubar, Henrik Stensgaard, Icarus, Icy the Great, Ida, Irish, Jay Lehrer, Jacob Wolfie, James Barnes, Jason Sushu, Jose, Yoran DeVries, Jessica Smith, John Holiday, Jordan Campbell, Joseph Peer, Justin Plot, Justin Walters, Luan and Thomas, Luke, Wallace, Mastolp, Monty, Nathaniel Lemberg, Nick, Noah Gallimore, Pan, Sammy, Panther Pearl, Payback 137, Payton Dennis, Al, Rodrigo, Russian Oligarch, Billionaire, Ryan Hooper, Smirtworm, Spencer Powell, Socrates, Super Nanny Zero, Eight Nine, The Bloody Knight, The Insane Pickle, Belong, Curry, Varagon, Voodoo, Mumbo, Wesley Grayson, Will Wade, Wilson, Natef, Wolf, Yorkers, and Zico 2. No way. Thank you, everyone. Thank you to everybody on this list. Thank you for the Twitch subscribers. Thank you to, um, I'd like to thank Joris Bonson for making this whole playthrough possible. I'd like to thank Paradox. Uh, I'd like to thank Microsoft for making Windows, without which there wouldn't be any games on the computer. We'd all have to play on consoles. So instead of my channel being about CK2, I'd be playing, I'd be opening FIFA Ultimate Packs. And you're not going to get a Joris Bonson P FIFA card, let's be honest here. You're not going to get that. 